If you're new to Mahjong, you might be interested in Cantonese style. It's the easiest one to learn. There are links below the video to the lesson playlist, and in that playlist you can download this player reference with all the scoring and setup from my website. We're going to do some random pulls. It's a great way to learn all the scoring. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to improve your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. And when you do, click the bell. That way you'll get notification when I post new videos. Let's do some random pulls. I have all my tiles out and they have been mixed. I have some dice here. We'll just use these to randomize where we're seated. And we'll do four random pulls, starting with East. And this will be just to practice identifying a direction to go when you get your drawn hand. Let's roll. I rolled an eight, so we'll say we are in north seat. We'll get 13 tiles. This is just to mimic a drawn hand. So for this drawn hand, we have a flower. This is a one flower. We're in seat four, so that one flower is not going to bring us any score. We'll just get a replacement for that. Let's see how all this comes together. I think what I would do here is play a half flush. Half flush with dots and honors. Even though these are singles, the hope would be to pair them up so that we could pung, which is a three of a kind. But we have a potential chow here with an edge weight. We need a three dot. Here we have a two three. This would be called a side weight. We need either a one or a four. Here we have another side weight. We would need either a three or a six. And then of course we have a nine dot. We could maybe make that our pair tile. So I think we would have one, two, three, four, five blocks. I would discard these. Even though there's a pair in here, I would still try for a half flush. This would be a three fawn hand. We do have a flower here, but this will not bring us any score. But the half flush scoring would be three fawn, which is decent. And if it is the east round, if we get a pair, we could maybe pung this, which is a three of a kind, and get score for that. We would get one fawn for a pung of east all by itself. And any pung of dragons is worth a fawn. So I would hold that and see if we could pair that up. That's what I would do here. If you would do something different, write it in the comment section. For blocks, one, two, three, four, five. We would need to pair these up here one way or another. So let's do the next random pull. So we'll go to south round. Let's just say we are in seat eight, which is four. That would be north. So we are in the north seat and it is south round. For this random pull, I think we should play all chow because we only have two honors. Let's just block it out. This is isolated. We have a five, six, an eight, nine, two, four. These are two pair, but we can turn those into two potential chows. So let's just say that we have one, two, three, four, five, Really, we don't need all of those. I would start by discarding this east and north and start drawing in to complete some of these chows. 
and play all chow. Right now we have no flowers, so that would be one fawn, and all chows would be one fawn. So this would be a two fawn hand. Obviously we need a pair still. We could even use one of these as a pair and maybe break these into chows if we get a seven bam or a six bam, let's say. So there's a little bit of flexibility in there. All chow, that's what I would do here. If you would do something different, let me know. We'll go on to the next one. So for the next random pull, seat six, which is south. So I'll put a two up on the dice. So we'll just say we are in south seat and we are now in west round. So if we get a pung of west, even though we're in south seat, we'll get score for that pung of west. We are in seat south, number two. Look what we got, two flower. That's a fawn right there. So let's see what we can go for here. We have one fawn because we have our own flower. So for blocks, I would say we have an isolated tile here. Here's the potential chow. One, two, three, we need a two. That would be a closed weight, middle weight, inside weight, weak. Five, six, that is a strong weight because we could either use a four bam or a seven bam. We might need to leverage that. Here we have a two, four. This would be another closed weight, but we do have a seven that could be another closed weight. So there's some flexibility there. So we would have one, two, three, four, let's say five. If we discard the honors, we would have a good shape for an all chow hand. All chows is only one fawn, but we do have our own flower, so that is another fawn. That would be a two fawn hand. I think I would try for all chow. If you would do something different, write it in the comment section. Let's do another one. For north round, I rolled an eight. That would be north seat. North round. So we are in north seat. Look what we got. Four flower. That's a fawn right there. So we have four, four, four. I need a replacement tile for that flower. Six bam, I would totally go for a half flush here. Four discards. Even though we'd be sacrificing a potential chow, here we have an isolated tile, but we have a good potential chow here. Here's a potential chow, and then honors that can bring score both with the dragon and the north wind because that is our seat and it is the wind of the round. I would try for a half flush here and discard these four. If you have, whatever decision you make, if you have four discards to build that option, I would say that's a pretty strong start. That's what I would do here, half flush. Three fawn, and then if we paired up and punged the one of these, that would be another fawn. So that would be a pretty decent hand. If you have a mahjong set at home, give random pulls a try, and let me know how it goes for you. I think it's really great practice. Let me know if you like this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos. And you won't miss out on any opportunities to maybe learn a new strategy or pick up an insight of the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.